celebrate the presentation of the Lord in the temple, also known as pur purification of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and candle mass, where we, where we bless the candles for the year, and we see the light of the Lord and how we are to be lights of, of the Lord in our daily life in Jesus. And especially the presentation of Jesus being brought to the temple, as Our Lady was brought to the temple in her, her early age, presenting herself to the Lord to offer herself, her life, up in service to, to God the Father. And Jesus is doing the same, being presented in the Lord by Our Lady with Our Lady. And they're sort of both presenting themselves to the Father as a sacrifice, as an offering to God for the salvation of men. This uh, oblation, this offering of themselves to, to God. And we hear the words that the Messiah, the Christ child, is to be a contradiction. And Our Lady is to have her heart pierced with a sword and her soul pierced with a sword. So they are to suffer together, and they are both accepting that mission, that will of God, and they offer themselves as victims, really, as victims for the salvation of souls, and not because of any sins they have committed, they're being sinless, but for us sinners, they are offering themselves. What a great offering of sacrifice and of love, immense, immense love and immense sacrifice, immense suffering, for all of us, immense, immense offering to God. And as they have done, and so we are called to follow their example of offering, offering ourselves, our offering our entire selves, our entire life, our entire day, every day, we are to offer to our Lord. And as we uh, hopefully go to Mass, even every day, we continue to renew this offering of ourselves. We make our prayers in the morning, offering our day and all the sacrifices and joys and uh, rest and recreation and fatigue and work, offering every single thing we can imagine of our life up to God with this symbol of the, the incense and the smoke and the fragrance offering up to God, a symbol of our offering of ourselves to God, which is a daily thing, which should be a, the entire offering of our heart and our, and our life. Everything that we go through in the day, except our sins, which we offer up our, our repentance and uh, resolve to reform, we offer up our, our uh, sorrow, we offer up our prayers for help and strength and grace from God to serve Him, to be faithful to our, our, uh, our stated offering, that we make in the morning, uh, that we make in the beginning of our life in our baptism. We, uh, we want to continue to make this offering uh, faithful, full, uh, and worthy of uh, our Lord. And uh, so this day we uh, renew our, our, uh, our offerings of our entire self to God and we want to make it better and better, uh, more and more conscious, uh, throughout the day, and, and we renew our, make this continual, continual uh, recourse to God and conversation of, uh, of offering our, our day and the things that we go through each day, offering everything to, to God as a, this oblation. And we renew that in every Holy Mass, uh, in this, the offering of the gifts. It's a, 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 um, an opportunity at that point to offer, to renew our, our offerings to God in the sac sacrifice of the cross, where our Lord is offering himself again to the Father. We are doing it in union with him at every Holy Mass, a major part of our participation at Mass, which is, again, a renewal of uh, what we are to do every day, offering, uh, offering ourselves in, c in completeness, in his totality, as much uh, in everything that we have and do and um, are to to our Lord, and uh, we offer this uh, in union with our Our Lady, in union with our Lord, re renewing and deepening that union with with our Lord and uh, Our Lady, and making that offering as best we possibly can, more and more uh, perfect every day.
Oh, no, no.